And hey, welcome back to Daily Wrap. Well, the president took to the Facebook today to announce he is granting clemency to 46 male and female criminals. Over the last few years, a lot of people have become aware of the inequities in the criminal justice system. The fact that we spend over $80 billion a year in incarcerating people, oftentimes who've only been engaged in nonviolent drug offenses. Right now, with our overall crime rate and incarceration rate both falling, we're at a moment when some good people in both parties, Republicans and Democrats, and folks all across the country are coming together around ideas to make the system work smarter, make it work better. And I'm determined to do my part wherever I can. That's one of the reasons why I'm commuting the sentences of 46 prisoners who were convicted many years or, in some cases, decades ago. These men and women were not hardened criminals, but the overwhelming majority had been sentenced to at least 20 years. Fourteen of them had been sentenced to life for nonviolent drug offenses. So their punishments didn't fit the crime. And if they'd been sentenced under today's laws, nearly all of them would have already served their time. I've made clear to them that re-entering society is going to require responsibility on their part and hard work and smarter choices. But I believe that at its heart, America is a nation of second chances. And I believe these folks deserve their second chance. I also believe there's a lot more we can do to restore the sense of fairness at the heart of our justice system and to make sure our tax dollars are well spent even as we are keeping our streets safe. That's something I'm going to discuss tomorrow in Philadelphia, where I'm going to lay out some ideas for criminal justice reform, many of which are already getting bipartisan support. Together, we can make our community safer. We can spend our taxpayer dollars more wisely, and we can make sure that more of our citizens, even those who've made mistakes, have a chance to become productive members of society and contribute to this country that we love. Now, the 46 acts of clemency are the most granted by the president in a single day since the Johnson administration more than 40 years ago. All involve drug crimes, mostly cocaine trafficking. Some, okay, our own Steve Malzberg, has said this will open the door to hundreds, if not thousands, being released. Do you agree, Unger? I, I'd love to know how this opens the door to anybody else being released. Everybody who didn't get a grant of clemency is serving their time. And I can't imagine what's going to change that. But that said, I could not, I can't imagine that anybody, no matter how much you dislike President Obama, can have a problem with this. As he said, these are people, some of these people are serving life terms for nonviolent crimes. Many of these people under today's sentencing uh, requirements would have been long out of jail. You know, we actually need room in our jails for people who actually need right. to be there. This is silly. It's about time somebody acted like a grown-up. I hope that judges around the country will start to follow suit, but it's not going to affect the other people currently. Hanson, serving. we pride ourselves on not being an echo chamber on this show. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going down that road. I think there's a couple rational. ways. But listen, I think that everyone's acting like grown-ups. I think that everyone, both Democrats and Republicans, have agreed that this is an issue that we have to address. What I do think is very interesting is suddenly President Obama is very focused on this issue, this issue rather than immigration because it seems that he's maybe losing some steam when it comes to immigration in the courts. He's going tomorrow to Philadelphia to speak about this issue. Thursday, he's going to a federal prison. That maybe give me some pause as far as, is that what he should be spending his time doing? He's focused on a lot of issues other than immigration. Why would you pick on him for I, I, I'm this? not picking on him. I'm just simply saying that his focus has suddenly really Iran. changed. He's oh, yeah. On, I mean, as on, far as his the, legacy, this is trade? a new part of his legacy that has not been part of his legacy thus far. I don't disagree. I think it's much better than what he wants to do with immigration. All right, Hirschfield, quickly. Look, sentencing is a train wreck in this country. We've got people who commit murder who spend 16 years in prison and people who buy too much dough and they spend the rest of their lives in prison. It's nuts. I, like the president, believe the country is a nation of second chances. Here's where I'm going to disagree with you, Rick. He used the word I over and over and over again. His belief that these people deserve a second chance, why these and not others? It feels more like divine fiat than good governance. And that does concern me. That he happened to have stumbled into the right conclusion on these 46? He probably did. But there's thousands of others who are unaffected, and it does leave at least me wondering 
Why not? Rick, I'll allow you to get the last word just in just one presidential moment. Presidential clemency is, in fact, divine. I understand, you which know? is why, and that's why, by the way, you're right. There won't be thousands gotta, released into the streets, but still, it's a weird exercise move on of power. quickly. Mark Noller over at CBS pointed out that today's commutations bring Mr. Obama's executive clemency count to 64 pardons and 86 commutations. Compare that to George W. Bush's 189 pardons and 11 commutations, and Bill Clinton's 396 pardons and 61 commutations. So, final word on this, Heather. I, I, listen, he's got time. I don't know what time in there. <laughs> <laughs> At what yes. point in there? You know, that may well be the answer. <laughs> and you don't know at what point. I think a lot of the presidents do, do wait until the end yeah. of their service. There's a ramp to up toward the end. Yeah. It's totally. not the number, it's the quality. The quality, right. You know, are they, are the they appropriate or not? We don't know yet. Know. So, what do you think about the president's clemency count? Go to newsmaxtv.com slash comments. Let us know. Back with more after the break.